Hey everybody, it's Michelle with Comfy Cozy Living. So today I have um, the third stop I made on Wednesday, which was the second Goodwill of that day. And so this is actually my number two Goodwill. Um, and when I say number two Goodwill, I mean like it's my, my number two store, like my second go-to store, second closest, I think, or third closest, but my second go-to store anyway. And I got there at like 10 after 6. So I, I knew I didn't have very long because they close at 7 nowadays. And um, I'm going to just stick this up just a tad more. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Um, so anyhow... I was like, okay, I got like 45 minutes. Well, I tore through because I was like, okay, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I had done enough that day. I mean, I had already gone to two places, so I was happy already and it was a great day. It was like the day that like I came back to life or something. And, um, so I was like, you know what, let me just do what I can here. And I got through there in like I think I was in the car by 546. So, pretty good for me. So, let's see what I got. This I got for myself. Um, I need, and you could tell that there used to be a lid. There's the, you know, I think I can probably use a, um, a plier, I mean a, a, a metal cutter to get that out, out or off. Um... I don't know. It, it was a hinge. I don't know. I mean, otherwise I could, I could totally use it like this as like a shadow box kind of thing with this mirror here, which I think is cool. It's made in India, it, but it was a, it was a, um, Marshall's item. I got it for a buck 99. Let's see how much they clearanced it for at Marshall's. Clearanced it for $4. It was nine ninety nine. So I don't know. Probably, um, because it was damaged, you know. Um, but I want to use it for uh, like my my uh, bracelets, and uh, I always have like it's just overflowing. My thing is overflowing with bracelets, and I think this is, might be just a little bigger than what I've got it in. It might it might be not as big width wise, but it's taller, and also I think because it's clear, I can see where things are. I don't know. I just, I think it'll be good for that. If not, I know I can use it for other things. So not a worry. This I totally dig. This is so cool. This is a great, like, this is a teal color green and, um, it's just cool. Cause it's so boho. Mm -hmm. I mean, now this, this is one that yesterday you would have seen. I had that clear one and I'm kind of between these two to keep one. And the clear one is probably going to be the winner because it would go more with my vibe. Um, I don't really have any teal happening. I mean, I do have a little bit of teal. Um, I have a little more of the blues and a little bit more turquoise than teal. Um, but I totally love this. I thought it was so cool. And I don't know. I just dig it. And you could put anything in here. Some pampas grass or some... Um, pussy willows or just regular flowers because it's a glass vessel so anyhow totally cool I know somebody's gonna dig that and I think that just made up my mind I think <laughs> oh I know what this is I thought somebody will for sure like this now I don't think there's a mark I was trying to look in the store for like something to indicate something special um it's a number six or a nine i don't know i think it's more of a six i'm not sure if this is i don't know but it just goes really well with like your franciscan ivy and it's a different kind of like this milk glass has this like like scallop or fluting around here with this, the dots. I've uh, never seen one this style, but especially with the, um, with the Ivy, 
I thought, ooh, somebody's really going to love this for their, you know, collection or whatever. And I did see some pieces of Franciscan Ivy there. Or Franciscan, whatever the Ivy pattern is called, the Franciscan. Um, I didn't get it. Here's the thing. I know I know that um, Jeffrey's into that. And I don't know if he has every piece that he wants or not. But as far as everybody else, I don't know really uh, with that. I mean, there are certain Franciscan patterns that I love, which one of them is, of course, the Starburst. Because, hello. Um, is that what it's? Starburst? That's it, right? Why is this so not sounding right in my head right now? But you know what I'm talking about. And I know Jamie knows. <laughs> um, I did get two pieces of Franciscan that I have the other pieces of, I think, still. Or did I sell those? I don't know. I think I have them. I don't remember. Ah! Anyway, when I get to it, you'll see. But anyhow, the Franciscan Ivy that I saw, it was, I think it was a gravy boat. And... It might have been a creamer and a sugar. I'm not really sure. It was a little higher in back. In back, um, they were different. I've never, or, or I don't know. There were some different sort of pieces. I felt like not typical. And I, I probably should have just gotten them. But I was again. I was like, do I know anybody that's really into that? I don't know for sure that anybody's into that. I was willing to take a chance on that. Because that, you could turn around and just have it look like milk glass. <laughs> so I w I'm not sure. So I guess that's the kind of thing I'll have to, you know, find out. So here's what I was, the ones that I, oh, I love this pattern so much. And I did buy some other pieces of it. I I never did buy this, these, because um, they didn't have the, um, I didn't ever find cups. But they were 50 cents because they were half off. And I was like, they probably have been sitting here for as long as I had seen them the first time, which has been a while. This is the, does it even have a name on here? Color seal? No. I don't know. Anyhow, it's these. And I love this pattern. I love this pattern. I think it's so super cool. Um, but again, I love the Starburst pat pattern the most, obviously. But if I'm finding this, I'm going to, you know what? If I love it, I'm just going to buy it. You know, so what if I don't have the, um, the cups for this? I can just use this for a little tray for trinket stuff in my workroom or whatever. Still haven't figured out what to call that room. But I just love them. And I, I keep seeing these there. And I, I, I had to buy them. I can't leave them there anymore. I, I mean, 50 cents. I was, you know, I'm going to end up hearing them being thrown in a, a cart that they're going to get tossed out on, which drives me crazy when they're like going through the store and like putting stuff in a cart to get rid of it. Like they just throw stuff in there and it's like, come on, you're going to send it to the bins or whatever. At least kind of be easy on it. Or, you know... <laughs> I never understand why they don't just do a bigger reduction on things, but what do I know? I think this is super cool. I have developed a thing for ashtrays. I don't know why, because I absolutely abhor smoking. Like, like you can't even understand how much I hate smoking, but I did the ashtrays. They just have, they're just the coolest. I mean, especially a tre treasure craft. Oof, I'm all over that. But this, I know marble is huge now. Marble's huge now. So, girl's going to have to take a look into how much I can get for something like this. It does have a little, is that it or no? Well, it's got these little, it, it might be the marble, to be quite honest, you know, because when you try to give it that, like, rounded edge, maybe not the easiest thing. Um, let's 
it's just this little, you know, I think it might just be manufacturing, like, you know, part of the natural process. I don't know. But look at this. I mean, this is awesome. And, you know, people don't just smoke cigarettes anymore. So, and also you can use it for, like, sage or, um incense because look it's like got this divot down here and it's even got this like um moat <laughs> here i think it's super cool i just i mean i dig it and again it's it's marble so it's really cool it's good size that's my hand well that's my hand so i can kind of hold it Anyhow, I thought really cool. And uh, so, yeah. Okay. And then this I love. And I just I don't know. I don't know what can be used for it because I know you would have to have it be like specific. Well, See, so it probably had a large, like, glass hurricane of some sort in here. Like a glass candle thing. Well, what, of course, when I found it, they had just thrown all kinds of um, votives, votive candles, and votive holders that were all priced individually. It didn't wasn't included. So I just took this and I dumped it out. Screw them. They didn't do the work. Why should I? But I feel like... I don't know, like, this is just, like, begging to be, like, the boho vibe to something that's already so basic. Like, maybe a utensil holder will fit in here, and it was just so plain, but now it's going to, like, be like, oh, I can make my kitchen boho. Or, um, you could even use it as, like, a tiny little wastebasket, really. Um, I don't, I don't know, I just, I just... I might be able to find like a glass vote. I, look, if I keep it, I would look for a glass thing for inside. If I sell it, I will leave that up to you because I'm not going to try to uh, ship glass if I don't have to. But it's just, I don't know. I just dig it. And I think, I think, you know, somebody else is going to dig it as well. Oh, yes. I got this um it's a body pillow cover holder uh case a body pillow case it says i love nature green is my favorite color one world think green conserve water hug me love your mother save the planet tree hugger and there's a deer there's a bird there's a peace sign there's an owl it says peace um there's a band-aid on the planet there's some mushrooms. Every drop counts. Plant, plant a tree. There's a bike. There's a heart with the planet. There's a, um, a, a whale. There's a, a, more birds. There's bike fuel. You guys seeing some of that? It's really cool. I like it. And it's kind of that flannel but not that kind of flannel that, um, it's not like hot. What do I, how do I say that? It's, it's, um, is it microfiber? That's probably what it is. Microfiber. That's the word I was thinking I was looking for. And so it zips right here, which I guess I should try the zipper before, but there. There's the zipper opening. And then you get the, the thing in there. And then you close it up. But I'm not going to close it up right now because I want to see this. Okay, it was from Target. Room Essentials. I remember that now. Or, I mean, R-E is Room Essentials. And it was, oh, from 2010. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's in great shape for being over 10 years old, but I'll tell you what, 
that's what happens when people buy stuff and they don't use it. It just sits and then it, you get it and it's great. Uh, look, saving the planet, that's not changed. We still want to do that, don't we? So this is still in fashion as far as I'm concerned. And uh, cool beans. So, and also, well, no, that one go in my room. Um, I got this. Maybe this will be good for what I'm thinking of. Ooh. So I bought, I'm buying um, something off of uh, Facebook Marketplace. I'm going to get it tomorrow after my therapy. Um, oh, I, which means I got to get 10 bucks in cash. Um, and um, I'm getting the, it's, it's a, it's a, just a headboard, a queen size headboard with, she had put foam on it and like a fabric to make like a headboard, right? And I moved my bed around and where I am now, it's like, there's about that much space between my, like the bed and like where my, um, tapestry hangs. And so it'd be really cool to have an actual, like hang a headboard behind there. I would love that. I don't care for the plain. It's kind of elegant looking. So I'm like, Oh, I'll just, I got all kinds of different things I can use. Well, now I'm like, wait, I got this. Maybe this will work. <laughs> but, um, this is so cool. Isn't that neat? It's got your, like a blue and like light blue and then the fuchsia pink. And then each corner has just this much of the, of it is fringed. Each corner has that. So then I don't know if this is a tablecloth. I'm trying to figure this out. Here, what does this say? It's Opal House. Dig that. It's from uh, 2018. It's 57 by 57. It doesn't say what it is, but 57 feet, 57 inches. So that's four feet. It's almost five feet. Well, that's weird that it's 57, right? Isn't that weird? Why wouldn't it just be 60? But it's square. So maybe it's like for a, a um, oh yeah, it's probably for a card table, like sides. It's really cute. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? I think it's really cool. I mean, you could hang it on the wall too. Really, you could. You could do a lot with this. This is just a neat fabric. Heck, you could make a shirt out of it or something. I wish I, I was a seamstress because I find some really cool um, things. Now, I really hope that I'm going to find a cool fabric to go over. I'm not going to use this one, though. I want something a little different. Um, I mean, this works out for the boho vibe for sure. But I, I love this for somebody else to get to use properly because I dig the way this this all is. And then look, little, little detail on there. I just, I want to, I want to help you guys all make your houses cool too. <laughs> I can't help it. I wish I could come and do it for you, but, um, you know, not everybody lives in Wisconsin or like Chicago or something. <laughs> so anyway, I thought, I just thought that was cool. Well, I don't know exactly what it is, like I said, but you do what you want with it. Then, OMG, I found a bunch of dog pillows. I I didn't buy them all. I only bought three. There were probably... I probably left... I probably left like six or seven or eight behind. But I got three of them. And here's one. Because, I mean, you guys love your poodles. <laughs> Look at the cute little poodle schnooter. And honestly, I think it's a poodle. But you might see it like as one of those other kind of Bichon Frisier, a Maltese, I don't know. Could be something else. Furry little fluff ball. But I see poodle. You know, I see a little white poodle. Anyhow, it's a smaller pillow, but look at the work in that. 
I mean, that's amazing. And, you know, you it opens up. It's from Use Enterprises. Y-U apostrophe S Enterprises. Um, 10 by 10. Dry clean only. I don't know anything else about this. But it's got its own little pillow insert. And um, I just think they're... It, it was so cute. Then, I know in my head, when I was looking at all these dogs, and I was trying to remember who likes what kind of dog, and I was that's one of the reasons I didn't get more, because I was like, oh, I don't want to be stuck with a bunch of dog pillows if I'm not sure, right? So, this one, why does this one feel a little different? I mean, it's bigger. This one's a little bigger. <laughs> And then I think this one just has a different insert. My God, you can see the work on the back of this, though. Amazing. So this one's bigger. I would say it's, well, if this was 10 by 10, this one's got to be 15 by 15 or something. Or, I don't know. But I know somebody likes beagles. I remember somebody likes beagles. I would say you could probably fluff this up with a better insert. I don't know. That's your choice. Um, I could definitely take out the insert and send it without it because the, the, this is the amazing part. Or just send it as is and then, you know, you decide. But I know somebody loves beagles. And so this will be in um, next week's sale probably too. Now this one I got because... Oh God, I just adore them. I... If I didn't have Bella, this is what I, I mean, I, this is, if I had to pick, I, you know, I'm all about the rescue, so it's hard to find, a, you know, like one that you really, really want, want, um, because, you know, it's a rescue, and you don't, you just rescue one. You rarely get, like, one of these dogs that you're going to have to pay big money for. But if I could pick a dog... This is what I would want. A little Frenchie. OMG. So freaking cute. Especially the little brown or black ones. Oh, I would want a little brown one if I had my choice. Oh, so cute. I can't even take it. Ugh. Maybe, I mean, I'm like, maybe Rachel wants it, but she'd be like, oh, that looks like some old lady would have in her, you know, because, you know, she's not 18. I mean, maybe not. She would probably think they're cute. I think they're so adorable. And I'm like, so what? If somebody doesn't want it, I'll take it. I'll keep it. I don't care, even if I have Bella. But these are so cute. Oh, my gosh. I can't even. They're adorable. Ugh. Okay. Not much left. All right. Oh, then I was thinking of Mandy K. She loves Basset hounds. And here is a basset hound. I saw it and I was like, Mandy Kay. Mm-hmm. I sure did. I don't know how I remember some of these things because I can't remember squat otherwise. But yeah. I love it. It's probably from the 70s for sure. Adorable. I got this because of the price. I mean, it was only 50 cents. It's, I mean, I'm going to save it probably for Christmas in July. But I I love a bell for some reason. And I love this kind of like jute. And this is like gold. Well, I mean, it's not gold leaf. It's probably just some cheap stuff. Um, I don't know. But it's got a good bell, even though it's. Oh, it looks like it's hung with paper clips, but that's not. It just looks like it. Anyhow, I mean, it gives a good ring. It's got a good, good little clacker in there. So I don't know. Maybe it's not as cheap as it looks. Well, I mean, it doesn't look cheap. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I just, you know, because it has this, so it doesn't make it look fancy. But then it's got the gold. But anyhow, I just thought it was really cool. So this will be in a Christmas sale and um, Christmas in July. And then this thing I got because 
for one thing, the price was right. It was 50 cents. For another thing, I mean, it was totally vintage, and I dig it. It says, thanks for your patronage, Thompson Lockers, Garner, Iowa. I actually know somebody that's from Garner, Iowa. So first of all, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reach out to her just for fun. I haven't seen her or talked to her in a long time. But isn't that cool? It's just a fish. Cool looking fish. Mid-century-ish. I dig it. It's got to be from the 70s. But, um, yeah, I just thought it was really neat. So there's that. And that's it. That's my haul. So, and Jean, if you're watching, I don't know. I don't talk to you often, but let me know. Girl, let me know. Sorry, I was just checking that basket. It was made in the Philippines. Um, so, yeah. Um, you guys, be ready because it's going to be a sale. It's Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm going to be, or Tuesday and Thursday. I'll be selling. Um, now, please don't reach out to me about any of these items because... You know, I'm just getting caught up, and uh, I need to start off fresh. So, um, you know, it'll be uh, at my sales that we'll be selling the items, and uh, that's uh, gotta I gotta do it that way for now, because then I can keep a handle on things. So, um, you guys, thank you so much um, for just being as supportive as you always have been. And um, I'm so glad that I got to go and do these because I got some good stuff and I got my groove back. And, uh, yeah, I am loving it. I am so excited for the following, the, you know, the, the week that's coming up now. And um, I'm really chugging along and uh, I cannot wait to, um, to continue this fantastic journey in YouTube land. So, um, thank you so much, you guys, for taking the time to be with me here. And uh, make sure that you make a comment down below. And make sure you're subscribed to my channel, of course. And uh, like this video with a thumbs up. And if you know anybody that loves this kind of thing, maybe they'll enjoy this channel too. And you might want to share it with them and let them know to um, also subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you know if I have co anything coming up anytime when you're just sitting around doing nothing and you could be watching me. <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks so much for spending your time with me and have a great day. Bye.